what you can find on Wikipedia. I'm going to tell you behind the scenes of who Clarence Avon is. Woo! Woo! You ready for this? He's a teacher. He's a teacher. He's a master communicator. He's the perfect marriage between street sense and common sense. And what he did for us, when I say us, I mean the sons and daughters of the Afro-American community. He was the one that brought us to some understanding of what the music business was all about. And what we learned was two things. There's two parts to this industry. The music business and the business of music. One, you sweat your ass off. <laughs> Two, you bank the money. He taught us how to bank the money. He taught us how to make things happen when record companies did not understand what we were about. He made the records companies understand who we were. is that he learned very quickly that the record companies didn't understand the artists and the artists didn't understand the record companies. So he had to teach. Now, here we go. This is the part you won't read. Oh, this is the part you won't hear about in Wikipedia. His teaching style was, may I say, a little bit abrasive. In fact, I'll go even further than that. He was rude, crude, abrasive, offensive, and that was his charm. <laughs> his key to negotiation, now prepare yourselves for this, his key negotiating words that he liked to go to right away. Go, go fuck yourself! And go to hell! And that meant he liked you. <laughs> now I couldn't figure out for the life of me how in the world does a man like this have so many friends that like him? Because after taking the abuse, and by the way, you're going to get more abuse than you've ever heard in your whole life. Why do so many people like him? And I figured it out. I figured it out. He told the truth. He told you exactly the truth. And by the way, in the music industry, that is a rare commodity. You know, I think back on some of his negotiating tactics. He has the amazing ability to fall asleep 30 minutes into the negotiations, wake up with not hearing one word of what we were talking about, curse everybody out, and tell everyone, here's what I think the deal should be. Everybody stands up and smiles, and the deal's done. That's simple. Now, what I love, and I said it before, I'm going to say it again. He was the one that said that in this business, they have to know what the business is about. And how he became the black godfather, and how he became that power was only one line that I will say. He covered our ass. He made sure that everyone that came around him actually understood the music business and the business of music. So right now, my dear friends, let's take a look at the amazing story of Clarence Avant. <laughs>